Okay, 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 ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. How's everyone doing today? Phil here live on the stream, and what a day we've got today, folks. This is it, the big one. This is the day we've all been waiting for for quite some time. I'm very, very excited for today, and I hope that you are too. <clears throat> if you're not aware, today is Thursday, April 19th, 2018. Hello and welcome to my first of two gameplay streams for the day, folks. Um, if you don't know what today is, it's the big day. It's the big release day, guys. That's right. You guys ready for this? I know you. I know you're probably been waiting and waiting and waiting. <clears throat> oh, be careful there, Nolbert. Nolbert got overexcited and he must have posted up too many emotes. And Nightbot gave him the temporary five second timeout. Careful there. <laughs> I know everyone's excited, but don't get timed out by the bot. So, yes, folks. <clears throat> After seemingly an endless amount of waiting. After seemingly a ridiculously long dead time. Um, of waiting for a big, high-profile, triple-A game to finally release. You know, we've had some games that people have liked. Some that have been kind of divisive. For example, Monster Hunter World. A ton of people loved it, but some people, like me, sadly, just don't get it. Dragon Ball Fighter is a great game offline, but for online play, it's not a very good fighter. Um, you know, we've had hits or misses in the past couple of months. You know, there have been a few good games like Far Cry 5, uh, Nina Kuni 2. But really, there's been not one game that's given that big oomph, that big, uh, that feeling you get when you know there's a giant release that's coming out and you're super pumped for it. I, I would say there's a couple times over the years I felt this way. All right. <laughs> One of them was Bioshock Infinite. I really felt when Bioshock Infinite came out that this was like, this is it. This is going to be an amazing game, well-polished, you know, triple-A release. Everyone's going to be playing it. Um, that kind of a feeling. Same thing with Mass Effect 3. I kind of felt that. Um, there's very few times over the years where you really get that big game feeling. This is it. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's been waiting for. And I really am getting that feeling with the game that is releasing later today. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what game I'm talking about. There's no there's no disagreements here. Everyone is in 100% agreement of the game that I'm talking about. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, releasing later today, it is the Nintendo Labo. And we're all going to be building fun cardboard things and doing silly mini games on our Nintendo Switches. It's all anyone's going to be doing or talking about for the next several months. It's going to blow away any other gaming experience that anyone has. And everyone's going to be playing the hell out of the, the Labo. I mean, who else w could pull off printing out these cool 3D cardboard things that you build and you interact with your game system? I mean, seriously, who on earth, you know, would think that anything else could possibly be of any importance in the next day besides the Nintendo Labo? It's going to completely take over the world. And you know, what the hell am I talking about? Of course I'm kidding. <laughs> of course I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding, folks. Um, the, what I'm actually talking about, of course, is God of War. I mean, what's hilarious here is that the Nintendo Labo, when it was first announced months ago, right, there was actually quite a lot of hype behind it, if you remember. Oh my god, it's going to be so cool, so innovative. And then a bunch of people made fun of it and were like, this is fucking stupid. You're going to pay $70 to get a piece of software and build cardboard things and do mini games Like, what is this? A kid could literally right now get a box from anything in the house that their parents bought and make something for free. They could pretend to be a robot. They could build a fort. You know, you don't need a $70 piece of software to fucking do that. So the fact that Nintendo has the audacity to attempt to sell a $70 piece of software to for kids to play with boxes is pretty, pretty... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> what's the word? What's the proper word for? I don't even know. But what's funny about this, all right... Is now that God of War has gotten so much hype because people all got the game early, ugh, which I hate. But yeah, re re reviewers and me mainstream media got the game like a month early. They played through it. And all the reviews are just really kissing the game's butt, saying it's one of the best games ever made. It's still on Metacritic, has one of the highest Metacritic scores ever. Um, so yeah, obviously... The game's either going to be really good or really overhyped. But the thing is, there's been so much hype now around God of War. I haven't heard a single person mention the Nintendo Labo in like the next, the last couple of weeks. And see, the thing is, 
there was a big hype around it. There was. There was big hype around it for Switch users. Now no one's talking about it. It's like a dead thing. So, pretty crazy. Um, and you know what? You know, I'll be honest, guys. Originally, I was thinking of covering the Nintendo Labo. Just being real talk with you guys. I was. I was thinking, man, maybe it'll be silly to see me build these stupid cardboard things and then try to fuck around. And, you know, I used to do that. Remember when the Nintendo Connect came out? Or the Nintendo Connect. Oh, my God. When the Microsoft Connect came out, when the stupid PS Move came out, and I bought all the accessories, and I unboxed them, and I set them up live, and I recorded all my interactions with them with the different games and stuff to show you how they worked. Um, it was good. It was good coverage for YouTube, obviously. But, but, the reason I really did that was because there was nothing else going on at the time when those things were out. If there was a bigger co- a game or, you know... <laughs> something better going on, um, I definitely wouldn't have wasted my, my time or money on that stuff. It was more like, here's an experiment of something to cover that's weird and different, you know, a gimmick, while there's really nothing else going on. Um, there's no way in hell I'm covering the Nintendo Labo right now. Seriously. It's a silly gimmick. It's a waste of time and money. Kids can play with boxes without a $70 piece of software that, micro, that uh, I said Microsoft now, wow, that Nintendo designed. Uh, and the bottom line is, as a live streamer and as a gamer, I want to play God of War. I could give two flaming shits about the Nintendo Labo. There may be people out there who care. Good on them. Let them cover it. Uh, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> God of War is the big thing. All right? God of War. All right? So that being said, though, um, let's talk. Because God of War is going to be very white hot. It's going to be very exciting, and I am covering it starting tonight, all right? So, let's talk, guys. Let's go through uh, what you can expect in the next uh, day, because God of War begins. It's going to be very, very exciting. So, folks, this is my final Bloodborne Redemption Run stream. After this stream, I'm not playing any more Bloodborne ever again. So, I'm going to fit in as much gameplay as I can, and then delete the game off my PS4 permanently, and that's it. That's the end. Okay, I'm kidding there, too. Boy, I hope no one believed that. I was kidding. (laughs) I'm in a very kidding mood today. I don't know why. Kidding around. So, no, that's not what I'm going to do. That's not the case. The case is this. I've been playing Bloodborne now for a week. I started playing it last Friday, okay? Um, And I've been playing the living hell out of it. I mean, I played, what was it, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today will be Thursday. Today will be the sixth day in a row that I'm playing Bloodborne. And the thing is, I'm not even close to being at the end. If you guys know, the game's so long. Um, we've got the Upper Cathedral Ward, which I just entered yesterday. All right, pretty good. Um, we've got, um, then, continuing out with the story, which is going to be the rest of the Unseen Yarnum, right? The Unseen Village of, Yar- of uh, uh, not Yarnum, it's like Yagul or something. Yargarl, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Unseen Village. we got to continue on there. Then that unlocks the Nightmare of Mensis, right? And then that unlocks the final area of the game. <clears throat> so, we've got all that, plus I've still got the Old Hunters DLC to do. So I've still got quite a lot of stuff left to do in the game. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I would assume that probably the Old Hunters DLC would take at least two streams to beat. That's what I'm thinking. Plus, with all the stuff left in the game, that's probably at least another two streams. So you're talking probably, at a minimum, another 16 to 20 hours of Bloodborne coming up. And then, that doesn't even factor in if I decide to try to do the Chalice Dungeons. Alright? So I have no idea. I don't know. You know, I don't, It could be a lot more gameplay of Bloodborne coming up. However, sadly guys, as I knew it was going to happen, because I knew how long of a game Bloodborne was... All right, um, you know, we're out of time. Today is the final stream of Bloodborne before God of War's release. So what we're going to do, I've been explaining this all week. Allow me to explain one more time so there's no confusion. All right, today, the final stream of Bloodborne, the Redemption Run, until it goes on hiatus. It's going to go on hiatus after today. All right. So we'll see how far I can get. In the four plus hours of gameplay that I'm going to put in on today's stream. All right. Tonight, there will not be a typical second stream. Usually my second stream starts at 6.15 p.m. There will not be a second stream tonight. And you may say, well, why? What's going on? Well, because tonight is the release of God of War. 
So instead of doing a 6.15 p.m. stream, I'm going to forego that. And I'm going to be resting up. And I will be here around 8.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, preparing and launching a stream for the 9 p.m. Pacific release of God of War. I'll be doing a two-hour minimum, if not a little bit longer, stream of God of War tonight. And I will be uploading all those initial God of War videos to my DSP Gaming channel as well. And then tomorrow, Friday, <clears throat> okay, both of my streams, both the first and second stream, will be uh, God of War, okay? So, within the first day here, the launch day of God of War, I'll have covered over eight hours of God of War gameplay for you guys, all right? Now, here's the deal. A lot of people were saying to me, Phil, you know, we have got kind of a dilemma. You know, we really want to watch you play God of War, but we also are so hyped to play it ourselves, you know, getting such high Metacritic reviews and everything. We don't want to spoil the game for ourselves, so we want to play it, and then we want to you know, watch along, you play it. And so the dilemma we're having, excuse me. Oh my God. Yeesh. Excuse me. <laughs> the dilemma we're having is that we want to watch your live streams, but now we don't know if we'll be able to because you may always be ahead of us. All right. So here's the deal. Yes. On launch day of God of War, I'm playing for eight hours. So those of you who want to see the launch gameplay, the first eight hours of the game and experience them live with me, please join me for the streams. All right. I get the feeling it's going to be hype. We're going to have a lot of people here who normally wouldn't be around. I'm sure people are going to be rowdy and trying to, you know, getting shout outs and stuff. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I get the feeling it's going to be a really great experience in the next day or so. Then on Saturday, I'm taking the day off. Now you may say, what in the holy hell? Why is Phil taking a day off right after in the midst of a new release? All right. Well, it's this simple, guys. It's really the only day that I've had a chance to get a day off. Um, you know, Kat has a work schedule and it just so happens this week she's been working all week and the, the first day she has off is Saturday. So that's the day we have to take off to do stuff. You know, we got to go run errands, go grocery shopping and the like. So we have to do this stuff. Okay. Um, that being said, it's actually going to work out perfectly. And the reason I say that is first of all, eight hours of gameplay is more than enough for a delicious first helping of any new release. Okay. Then for those of you who wanted to keep playing the game and be ahead of me so that way you're not spoiled when you watch my streams, right? You'll have an entire day to keep playing. And I know the weekend is probably primarily the time when tons of people are going to have a chance to really sit down and get deep into this game, all right? So, there you go. You guys will have Saturday to play the shit out of the game yourselves if you'd like. And then I'm coming back on Sunday. Okay, I'm coming back on Sunday with... Another stream of God of War, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So every day this week, you know, it's going to be the continuation of God of War. So having this day off right after eight hours of launch gameplay is actually more of a asset than anything else. Because it's going to allow those who really were having this dilemma to play as much as they want. And then come back and be able to enjoy my daily streams without having to spoil themselves. Alright? So there you go. Launch day coverage, which is what everyone likes. Plus... Not spoiling yourselves, moving on with the continuation of the playthrough. All right. So the way it's going to work, Saturday is going to be my day off. Sunday, I'm going to be streaming God of War. Just one stream, because Sunday night, I usually do the weekend preview, and I got other stuff I usually take care of, personal stuff. That's my day to pay bills and do, do chores and stuff like that. So that's going to be Sunday night. No second stream Sunday night. But then Monday, I begin my double streams all week. So Monday will be God of War paired with Yakuza 6. Tuesday will be God of War paired with Yakuza 6. Wednesday will be God of War paired with Yakuza 6. That's right. Three straight days of God of War goodness paired with the continuation of Yakuza 6. All right. Now Thursday, we're going to mix things up. Thursday is the 26th of April. One week from today, Ask the King, my monthly Q&A, well, my bi-monthly Q&A show, is returning. All right. So there's two things, two reasons I want to bring this up with you guys, all right? The first reason is I need you guys to head over to the kingofhate.com forums, which is my website, thekingofhate.com, and post up questions. There's a thread there for this upcoming episode of Ask the King, and I need you guys to post up questions for it because the more questions I get, the better the show is. And I haven't really been mentioning, you know, the posting of questions recently, and therefore, no surprise, there's not a lot of... Uh, you know, questions in the thread because I, I didn't really bring it up that much recently, all right? So please head over 
and post up those questions. The other thing is that's going to be the main stream that I do on that Thursday, which means probably Thursday night will probably be God of War. So I'll have a rare late night stream of God of War. And then more than likely that Friday, again, will be God of War kind of paired with Yakuza. Or if I'm getting burnt out on Yakuza after playing it all week, maybe I'll do a PUBG, a random PUBG stream. Okay. <laughs> then what I'm planning to do for that final weekend of April is I am going to do an Ultra Street Fighter 2 session. Because you see, this weekend, it is kind of throwing a monkey wrench into all the plans. All right. Because as you guys know, with, with God of War coming out as a weekend release, normally on weekends, I would maybe mix it up and do like a multiplayer stream or something like that. But I'm not doing that this week because of God of War's release. So that weekend, that final weekend of April, more than likely I'll be cramming in an Ultra Street Fighter 2 session and then continuing on with God of War. Now, with all the reports that I've heard about God of War, it could be anywhere from a 20 to 40 hour long game, depending on how you play it and if you do the side content. You guys know me. Typically, I like to explore open worlds. I like to look for hidden items. I like to find hidden things. I've heard there's actually a bunch of optional bosses in the game that can be quite challenging. So, that being said, um, I am very excited to delve into this game and take my time with it. If I do take my time with it, there's potential I won't even finish it in April. You know, the playthrough may continue on and reach into May if the game is as long and as good as everyone is saying it is. So if that's the case, that's good. And then, in May, once I finish up with God of War, then I'll go back to the Bloodborne Redemption run and we'll, fin we'll do the Old Hunters DLC and we'll finish up everything I haven't done yet. And then after that, I'll probably have time for another one or two downtime games. I'm mulling over a few games in my head, such as Dead Space 2 and a few other things that I'd like to maybe go back to and potentially play during this time between uh, you know, early May and mid-May, because it's actually the second half of May when all the big high-profile new releases are coming out, including State of Decay 2, Detroit Become Human, and of course the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. So, all that being said, all right, all that being said, starting today, folks, this is the big one. We're going to have non-stop hype, fun streams, Tons of really exciting stuff going on. Um, I'm yeah, I'm very excited. All right. Now here's the thing, guys. The good news about the way that I do stuff is I'm not 100% committed to doing things that I said. I can adjust on the fly. What if? What if? Eventually, I want to cover the Nintendo Labo. I can if I want. It's not anything to rush. It's just a stupid mini games with cardboard. You know what I mean? Like. I really don't foresee it being a major groundbreaking thing in gaming that you must cover at launch. So, if I ever did want to cover it, I could. But I just, like, why on earth would that be my priority right now? Seriously. <clears throat> With one of the best games in recent memory finally coming out, giving us a giant AAA-style game, right? Why would I be caring about that? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. All right, guys. Um... There's one quick thing I'm going to say, guys, because I've been noticing it recently in the stream chat, and honestly, I don't like it, all right? Um, apparently, people have been referencing another streamer. Apparently, this streamer apparently said something that was pretty abrasive to the viewing audience, and it's become a meme on the internet, all right? I just want to clarify something to all of you, because I just want to make sure that you guys understand something. I love that you guys are here for my live streams, and I definitely appreciate when people go above and beyond and contribute to do stuff to help me out, you know? People on a regular basis do things like they tip me or they'll subscribe to the channel. Some people will cheer to get a shout out and the like. And that's awesome and it's very much appreciated. You know, people will pledge to my Patreon or buy something from my Teespring. It's very much appreciated. But I just want you guys to know it's not required, you know? I love that you guys just come out and hang out with me here on streams, all right? The reason I'm bringing this up, I guess some people have been saying this meme of like, uh, like, donate or subscribe or get the fuck out or something like that. Now, I don't even, you know, that's horrible, in my opinion, for someone to say something like that. <clears throat> I've actually heard that apparently there's some streamers who are like, oh, I want, if you better, I, I would need at least 50, $50 of contributions or I'm not even going to continue with today's stream and stuff like that. That's ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, You know, I think that's really stupid. And I would never do that. You know, for me... First and foremost, it's about being a gamer, being a, you know, a normal gamer just like you guys. I don't feel like I'm any better than you guys. I don't feel like I deserve anything more than you guys, which is why I play games on release day. I don't play them early, and, you know, um, that's always been my philosophy. So, 
I don't know. I mean, obviously people are coming in and they're just joking around. All right. I know that people aren't being serious because the thing is they're not saying, oh, this is what Phil says. But I just want people to understand that when people are saying stuff like that in the stream chat, it's a meme from someone else. It has nothing to do with me. All right. And just understand that because I like, I do not want people to get the mentality. Wow. Well, people are saying that in Phil's stream chat. It must be, that's how he is. Right? No, no, not at all. Okay. So sorry. Yeah. I mean, sorry if anyone is getting uh, a little, you know, kind of confused. It's all memes. People, you know, people on the internet love to use memes. And I'm not, I'm certainly not going to say, how dare you use memes? You're now banned. No, 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 no. I would never do that. That's ridiculous too. If people should be free to, you want to do a silly meme or use a joke, go right ahead. I'm not going to be a stick in the mud and be like, oh, I'm a crotchety old 36 year old streamer and I don't like the memes. So I banned them from my chat. No, I'm not doing that. All right. Um, but the bottom line is I don't want people to get confused. and think that's me saying it. it's not. All right, so there you go, guys. Go right ahead. You can go ahead and, you know, <laughs> go ahead with the memes. As long as you're not misrepresenting them and saying, that's Phil, you know, I don't mind. So go right ahead and enjoy it, okay? But just wanted to clear that up before people got confused, okay? Okay. All right, guys, it's time now. Let's get to the plugs segment, which I know you all love. You all love the plugs, right? You Every day... You wait for the plugs with bated breath. There you go. So anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's go ahead and get through the plugs segment. All right. And uh, then we'll get started with uh, shout outs. And then we'll get started with the gameplay. All right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here for the Bloodborne Redemption run. The final session before it goes on hiatus for God of War. I appreciate you guys being here to watch my streams, and I appreciate any of you who watch my videos on demand on YouTube as well. If you enjoy my daily free live streams, and you enjoy the amount of content that I put out for the internet and the style that I do it, which is, in a lot of ways, a lot... Oh my God. Jesus Christ, excuse me. Oh my, I can't stop burping now. I think I'm going to have to start this segment over. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's try again. If you enjoy my daily live streams, if you enjoy the videos I put out on a daily basis and you want to see me be able to continue to do this full time like I do, uh, there's other ways that you can go above and beyond just being a standard stream viewer. All right. The first would be to check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dark side Phil. Now, here's the cool thing about Patreon in this particular month. All right. We've already hit our subscriber goal here on my Twitch channel, which was 450 subs. So because we did, that means that the Patron's Choice playthrough is going to happen 100% guaranteed, all right? So how does it work? Well, what you need to do is pledge $5 or more to my Patreon by the end of this month. So that's what, um, let's see, 10, 11, 11 days left in, the, in April? Yes, there's 11 days left for you to pledge to my Patreon. If you pledge five bucks or more over at patreon.com forward slash dark side fill, all right? you will be able <clears throat> to nominate and vote on a game that will become a full-length playthrough right here on stream and on my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. All right? Pretty cool, right? Um, oh, boy. <laughs> After I finish pre-stream, guys, I got to run downstairs quickly. Cat's home today, and she has she's trying to figure something out, and now she can't figure it out. So I will go down there after pre-stream and real quick show her how to do something. Um, but anyway, got distracted. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool because previous Patrons' Choice playthroughs, all right, have been games such as Mario Sunshine, various Sonic the Hedgehog games. Uh, we've also got um, uh, pay, uh, but I won't say Patreon, uh, Persona. Yakuza, and Spyro the Dragon was another one from last year, okay? So all that being said, um, some good stuff, all right? Some good quality playthroughs have come out of uh, <clears throat> us, you know, doing this Patron's Choice event. So I'm very excited. I mean, I've seen so many patrons now suggest things. Man, how about Eternal Darkness? How about finally Jack 3 getting its due? No, I'd like to see Phil do a survival horror run, you know? People are getting all these cool ideas, <clears throat> So I honestly can't wait 
to see. Oh, there you go. Kekin just said the return of near Automata for a second or third run, right? Because it has, you know, two or three playthroughs you need to do with the game to get to the end. So, yeah, there's all these possibilities, all right? All of these are possibilities. Um, I can't wait to see what people nominate and vote on. <clears throat> so, if you'd like to get in and have unprecedented amount of power on an upcoming event, Please pledge to my Patreon by the end of the month. Patreon.com forward slash DarkSideFill. All right. Now, that being said, there's also other things that you can get, other perks you can earn for pledging to my Patreon, including getting text or verbal shout outs and thank yous in my videos, getting your question answered for sure, your question, excuse me, answered for sure on my bi monthly QA show, Ask the King, or even getting a private QA video made. I'm not going to go into major detail about it, but please go give it a look over at Patreon.com forward slash DarkSideFill. Keep in mind, your Patreon pledges directly help me. With the cost of operating the business, including cost of games, cost of equipment, etc., etc. All right. <clears throat> so thanks to those who have been uh, patrons from the past. All right. And uh, thank you to anyone considering being a patron in the future, and you know, for this particular event, it's very much appreciated. All right. Fair enough. All righty then. Okay. Number two. There's my Teespring shop, guys, where you can buy merch, all kinds of stuff. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, fun stuff. <clears throat> and anything that you buy from my Teespring shop, I get a commission for, so it helps me out. And obviously, you get a cool collectible. Just want to give a special shout-out to all the viewers and fans who have submitted artwork, logos, and the like for my Teespring shop. Because it's all fan-made stuff, and it's actually great quality stuff. It shows off some of the really, you know, great talents of my viewer base. Pretty awesome. Um, so give it a look, teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP gaming. All right. Now, last but certainly, certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, if you are here live on the stream and you're watching and you're like, man, I really like, you know, Bl Phil's Bloodborne Redemption run so far. He's been doing a lot better than he used to. He's parrying and everything. It really is a better playthrough. And <clears throat> maybe today you want to get a shout out during today's stream. All right. You're getting so hype. You want to get a shout out or give me, a, you know, send a message or something. You can either cheer with bits <clears throat> subscribe to the channel or tip me. And if you do any of those three things, you will get a shout out during the course of today's stream. All right. Now, a couple quick criteria when it comes to shout outs, just so you guys know, trying to clear the air here. Please keep your, your, your shout out messages concise, as concise as possible. If you give me three, four, five, six sentences, chances are I'm not going to derail the entirety of the stream to just sit here and read your message. Just saying the shorter, the better. Also, try to keep it positive. Try to keep it on topic. I'm not saying you absolutely have to constantly be talking about Bloodborne. But at the same time, please don't come in and ask religious or political questions that are going to completely derail what we're doing here on stream. Please don't come in and say, oh, did you hear this guy called you a name, Phil, and stuff like that. No one cares about that crap. We're here to have fun, to play a game, to have a positive, entertaining experience. And we don't want that to get completely derailed with drama, negativity, or just general crap. All right. So please... Don't include those in your messages. The bottom line is all cheers, subs, and tips that are trying to get as a shout-out, I have my discretion whether or not I give you a shout-out. So understand there is no contractual obligation. However, I'd say probably about 85 to 90% of the time people get it. And, you know, usually we don't have many problems at all <clears throat> when it comes to interactivity on the streams. Usually it's pretty much straightforward and we have a good time here all the time. All right. Now, if you would like to get a visual representation of your contributions as well. You can either cheer 50 bits or more, or you can subscribe to the channel and after a couple of minutes, a share button should appear that you can click, or you could tip me $5 or more, all right? If you do any of those things, an on-screen thank you pop-up notification will appear, and those are designed by longtime viewer, fan, and chat moderator Popsicolo, so shout out to him for making those for us. <clears throat> So, yeah, it's both a visual and verbal representation, uh, you know, for your contributions. Pretty awesome, right? Now, two more final quick things before we get to shout-outs. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of April, and we are driving for subs here on the channel, and we're up to 455 subscribers. So, thank you very much, everyone, for your support. Uh, pretty positive. Pretty awesome. We're only 20 subscribers away from hitting the Tier 2 goal. And if we hit 475 subs at any point during the course of April... I will be doing a very special episode of DSP Tries It where I'm going to try to find a silly product, maybe something from like As Seen on TV or something else silly, and do a funny kind of parody DSP Tries It for it. I did one of these back in January with the Wax Vac, and people really seemed to like the video. They really enjoyed it. 
a lot of people were even like, man, I really I like to see this more often. Um, so yeah, I'll do it as a special reward if we get 475 subs. All right. So we're close. We're close, and you know we could do it. Especially with God of War coming out later today, we could definitely hit the subscriber goal of 475. All right. So there you go. And huh, wow, what a name! Sleeping through Yakuza Six. I said, but why haven't you done a food-related DSP tries it recently? There has been nothing to do. There has literally, I've been keeping my eye on fast food. There's been nothing new. All the items that have been out are just rehashes of things they've already done. For example, Burger King has the sourdough Big King. All it is, it's the Big King burger that's been at Burger King for two to three years with sourdough bread. That's not a new sandwich. That's not a new burger. That's the same burger with different bread. That would be like saying, you know... I went to McDonald's, and instead of a Big Mac on a fucking bun, they put it on, you know, uh, a bagel. The Bagel Mac. It's the same sandwich on a bagel. That's not a new item. You see what I mean? And that's really what it's all been. I just look, Popeyes, they got their Wicked Chicken is back. I did Wicked Chicken, like, four years ago. You see what I mean? Like, there's nothing new going on right now. I don't know why there's really nothing in the realm of food to test out on DSP Tries It. If and when there is a big, interesting new item, I will go check it out. I haven't seen anything new yet. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. So, someone just said, Wendy has a Southwest avocado chicken sandwich. Is that true? I have not heard of that yet. I was just at, no lie, I was at Wendy's about a week ago. They didn't have that. So, maybe they have a new sandwich now. Maybe I'll have to, pe to keep my eyes peeled here. All right. Fair enough. I'll keep my eyes peeled. And if that is true, and if you know there's new stuff, I'll let you guys know. All right. But that's why I haven't done a DSP tries it in over two months. It's been dead. It's been crazy dead in the realm of fast food. So, all right. Um, so anyway, guys, getting back on topic. Sorry, I got distracted here. Um, so we are pushing for subs. Uh, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. It obviously helps me out. That's number one. Number two, you get access to all of the really cool emotes that are here in the channel that people use all the time who are subscribed. Number three, it allows you to skip ads. You know, every once in a while, I'll do an ad break, and you don't have to see the advertisements. That's an asset right there. And number four, you get a really cool subscriber uh, chat crown badge, which is going to change color depending on how long you've been a, a supporter. You know, uh, it starts out as bronze, then it upgrades to silver, <laughs> When uh, it's three months or more of ongoing sub support, upgrades to gold with six months of support, or it upgrades to gold with rubies when it's a year. So thanks everyone for your ongoing support. I think the f the first person to hit 17 months of support was just last night. Pretty awesome. Thank you guys very much for that. And uh, you know, let's make it happen. Especially with God of War coming out, I'm pretty confident we can hit the 475 subs. All right. All right. Last but not least, guys. Before we get to shout outs, some people ask me, well, how do I tip Phil? Because I see that it's very easy to cheer with bits or to subscribe to the channel because <clears throat> that's all done through Twitch. By the way, I should mention this. Twitch is currently having a sale. If you are an Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime member, because they're the same thing, you can buy 500 bits for a dollar. It's a huge sale they're doing right now. So just letting you guys know, giving you the heads up. All right. Um... <laughs> But how do you tip? Tipping is completely different, right? Yes, you are right. What you need to do is one of two things. Right now, if you're watching the live stream, if you look below the live stream, there's a grid of information, including my link to my DSP Gaming YouTube channel, a link to my personal website, thekingofhate.com. Stream rules are there, which I strongly recommend you read and understand before we get started. But on top of all that, <clears throat> there's a section that says tips. If you click on that section, there's a picture of me posing with Pokemon. All right? It'll actually take you to the tips page where you can either leave an anonymous tip or you can leave your name in a message. Now, for warning, guys, I actually heard someone was trying to possibly tip me this morning and they were having errors with PayPal. Apparently, PayPal is having some issue with bank transfers. All right. So if you are trying to tip and it's not going through today, it's probably not just you. It sounds like PayPal is having issues with certain payment types. All right. Now, if you don't see any of the information that I just mentioned at all, you may be on a mobile device and because usually on a mobile device, it doesn't display that channel info. So instead, you could just type exclamation point tip into the stream chat. It'll bring up the command where you can click on it. It'll take you to the tips page. You can leave a tip there. All right. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Now it's time for shout outs. It's time to give a shout out to those who have cheered, subbed and tipped and contributed. Let me go ahead and refresh because I want to be sure that I catch everyone. Sometimes people do stuff overnight. 
And so I want to refresh to make sure I catch those. And it's a good thing I did because overnight, ladies and gentlemen, Golden Colts actually did three cheers. He did two 100-bit cheers and then a 50-bit cheer with various different emotes. So thank you, Golden Colts, <clears throat> for your overnight support. It's very much appreciated. Thank you, sir. Then today, as the stream began, we start off with Octoa, who cheered and said, I got my copy of God of War pre-ordered, but I won't be able to play it until about 5.30 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Hype as fuck. I am hype as well. That's why I'm, I'm going to play it as soon as it unlocks digitally tonight. It's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, Octoa cheered again. He said, I was playing Bloodborne just now, and I beat some asshole boss. Hell yeah. Well, congratulations. A lot of the bosses in Bloodborne can indeed be assholes. So, congratulations to you. <clears throat> Kate just cheered. I said, hello, Phil. Happy Thursday. Can't wait for the God of War stream later tonight. Me either. I'm pretty hyped for it, too. And Eternal Napalm cheered. 50 bits. That's actually going to make him the cheerleader for today, so I'm going to update that in a moment. He says, I am psyched for God of War. I'm about to play an insane amount this weekend. Hope you have a blast and enjoy every second. I hope so, too. And as I told you, Eternal Napalm, once you're all played out and you're ready for a break, come on and swing by and watch one of my streams. Chances are, because <clears throat> I am taking Saturday off from it, <clears throat> That uh, you'll be ahead of me. So you won't be spoiling by watching my streams. Okay? Alright, so Eternal Napalm is currently the top cheerer. Let's get him up on the leaderboard here today. There we go. No top tip right now. I mean, we just started. So no tips yet. As of yet. But we'll see if that changes. Uh, again, thank you everyone for your support. Uh, appreciate that. If you do... Cheer or tip, there's a chance you'll get up on the top leaderboard right now. There's no tip, so whoever tips first is going to get up there no matter what. Um, I'd also like to say a special thank you shout out to our top overall uh, ch uh, cheering contributors this week. Um, Mr. Swaggins is our top cheerer for the week. But then in second place, the very best five. And then Be My Eyes is third. Coming right behind Mangina. What a name. And Eternal Napalm, actually, in fifth place. So there you go. Very nice. Um, Fred Flintstone just cheered. He says, do you get tips immediately or cheers? I don't understand how that works with Twitch. The way it works is very simple. All right. Everything you do helps. So don't feel right now that you're being pressured into doing one method or another method or anything like that. It all helps me. Okay. So thank you, everyone, for your contributions. But if you do actually want to know, yes, tips I get first. Meaning tips are not through Twitch. Tips are a completely separate thing through third-party website PayPal. So those I get right away versus everything else like subs and, and cheers and stuff like that. I don't get to see any positive effects from that stuff for a couple months. It takes a couple months for them to process it. But um, tips are immediate. Okay. But of course, tips you need to do through PayPal. And like I said, some people are today are having issues with PayPal. Um, so I don't know if that's a factor or not. You know what? Well, I don't know. I just don't know, you know. I'm not sitting here trying to do it, so I can't really answer that, but that's a situation. All right. <clears throat> ah. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate your support. I guess I really don't have much else to talk about on the pre-stream. So I guess we're going to end the pre-stream now <clears throat> and then get ready for Bloodborne. Sound good? Sounds good, my friends. All right. Let's end the pre-stream and then get you know, get yourself buckled in. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. It's time for the Bloodborne Redemption run to continue. Right now, we're in the Upper Cathedral Ward, which means we'll be fighting aliens. Yes, we'll be fighting some aliens, the Celestial Emissary, and then Ebrietes and all kinds of fun stuff. Should be good. All right. <clears throat> all right, guys. Thank you. And let us begin. Here we go.